Matthew Zia. I'm directing a production of, of Rice by uh, the other person on the screen. Right, for me. So hi, I'm Michelle Lee. I've written the play Rice that Matthew was directing. Yeah. Um, cool. I always enjoy these conversations because I, I kind of, I'm here having my breakfast coffee uh, and I imagine you're moving towards some sort of nightcap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, last time we, we spoke, I was having a, a whiskey, but then I thought, oh, no, that's quite unprofessional. So, um, no, I'm just having some water with lemon. So it's oh. very, um, yes, it's very, <laughs> it's very professional now. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought it was just as professional before with the whiskey, to be honest. Really? Oh, good. Um, cool. I'll put the vodka in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 10 o'clock or something, isn't it? Um, I mean, I, I, we should probably start, I guess, somewhere around um, why, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, why, 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 how did you come to write Rice? Uh, mm. and, and more importantly, why? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so Rice is a, a play that ostensibly is a, a two handed play between um, two female actors, um, two, two female actors of colour. So, I, I, in saying that, I guess that was part of the starting point for me in, in writing the play, kind of thinking, thinking about my friends who, who act and who are women of colour. Yeah, over here in Australia and going, oh, what would be like, what would be cool roles that they could play um, where they would have, yeah, a versatility of, um, of acting and the virtuosity in, in the range. Um, so that was, that was part of the impetus to, to have a world that was peopled by, on the stage, that the bodies on stage were, were not white people, were not men, um, but the characters also like traversed a range of identities and that the two bodies on stage would kind of jump between and transform um, across the different roles. So, so in some ways like that as a as an offer to um, actors was part of uh, yeah, the, the starting point for writing it. And then I guess thinking about the content. So a story about two people who become friends in a workplace is someone who's like a white collar worker and the other person is cleaning their office and they become they become friends and I guess the conceit of storytelling <laughs> um yeah I was kind of attracted to to one person being like the primary role that they play is they're a Chinese woman cleaning the office of a young Indian corporate hotshot um and I wanted to write a play too that had women of color people of color but the story wasn't about like Chinese people, the Chinese community, I guess, or the Indian community, which was something that I recognised in the Australian landscape that when there were stories that perhaps centred more the experiences of um, ethnic or minority communities, it tended to tell the story as a story about the family unit or the, the community unit, which of course is true and is complex and you know, beautiful and delicious, but I wanted to move away from that. Um, so it was important that they weren't related to each other, essentially. Yeah, and which is interesting because for me, I guess, like there, there's a number of reasons I'm, I'm interested in it, but a huge part of it is their relationship. And whilst they're not related to each other, they're kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't really want to give too much away, of course, but they, they, they attempt or uh, appear to fill gaps in each other's need oh, at yeah. points, it, almost like a kind of maternal relationship. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, they they do um, kind of form proxies for each other, um, which which I guess you know goes speaks to living in cities where you know you find different types of community, but they do feel like similar to the family unit. Like there might be an elder, there might be someone yet in need of wisdom and mentoring, and there is that dynamic there um, in in this friendship, which is which is family like without being biologically family-like. Yeah, yeah. And, and for me, you know, just to kind of put out there, the, the real interest is, one, the theatricality of it, which I have uh, am discovering on a day-to-day -day basis, just how <laughs> dynamic this play is. Um, you know, the, the, the page 36, we talk about page 36 all the time, uh, because Sarah Lamb, who, who for most of the play plays a vet, does a kind of semicircle around the stage uh, in one fell swoop. And in that time, she's played Tom Graham and Gretel Patel, you know, line, line, line. Um, so the demands on the actors are just huge as well, aren't they? It's yeah. like like really uh, a bit of a fizzy challenge for actors. Yeah, yeah. 
to be able to give the physicality of, of another location, uh, various yes. ethnicities, different accents, whilst also delivering this story and, and returning yes. back to the central character each time. Yes, and of course you'll you'll pull it all off with a plum, and I hope it will be it will be magic. Um, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. That's the, the plan. plan. All these all these names you mentioned by the time we experience page thirty six on on the stage, it will be seamless. Yes, uh, and there will be it would have been hard to imagine it with uh, you know more actors is the plan. Yeah, and it, but this is what I love about it. Um, but in a way, uh, I don't know, and, and maybe maybe this is a bit complex, but the demands of the play, uh, uh, in a way, really limit who can who can play the parts uh, mm -hmm. because of the uh, expectations around age, ethnicity, yeah. uh, history, and access to particular characters and relationships, um, which again is a challenge, which I, I think we are are brilliantly rising to. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you, so do you mean um like in, in some kind of crude ways, does it mean like for the challenge for the actors is, is how they, they kind of locate themselves in the characters that are like least like them or I guess so because I think it's something that that I mean let's let's be blunt. I think it's something that that Asian, East Asian, Southeast Asian uh actors haven't been asked to do very